So, if you look at this expression, you find out that something is common among the expression 4, 4, 17. t to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of t minus 17, we are asked to find the value of t. So, how will you go about solving this? Join me as we solve this mass expression. Now, I want you to bear in mind one good thing that from this expression, our 4 can simply be equal to 2 multiplied by 2, right? So, in the first step, we're going to take in, in solving this question. I'm going to simplify this to become t to the power of 2 all multiplied by 2 minus, this is going to be 2 to the power of 2 all multiplied by t, right? And this will be equal to 17. So what do we do from here in the next step? In the next step, we're going to consider a law of indices. Now recall this law of indices, that if I have a to the power of x, multiplying the power of y, right? This can simply still be equal to a to the power of x multiplied by y, and this can still be equal to a to the power of y multiplied by x, right? So whichever works. So what is my aim bringing up this is to see how I'll impart this expression. Now from that expression, I can have my t to the power of 2 in the next step, square to the power of square minus 2 to the power of t, right? And this will be what? Squared, right? And this whole thing will be equal to 17. Great. Now in the next step, what are we going to do? We're going to let our t square be equal to, we're going to look at some assumption. Let's make our t square to be equal to x. And let's also look at making our t to the power of 2t, 2 to the power of t to be equal to y. So we're going to have two expressions. The first one, we're going to have x, what? x square minus y square and this will be equal to 17. Voila! So what did you see or what can you see in this expression? A difference of two squares. So what does that tell us? From all algebraic expression, recall algebraic expression, if you have a diff of two square, a minus b square, this can be equal to a plus b right? And this can be a minus what? B multiplied by a minus B. So if we apply that, we're going to have that expression to now give me x minus y multiplied by x plus y. And all of these will be equal to 17. Great. Now, I'm going to simplify this. If I simplify this, I'm going to have my x x minus y multiplying x plus y and this will be equal to 17 multiplied by 1. So what do I want to do here? Now I want you to look at these two expressions. From these two expressions, you agree with me that x plus y is greater than what? x minus y. And the same thing goes here, 17 is also greater than 1. So that means if I want to equate these two expressions, I'll have this to become x plus y multiplying x minus y. And this will be equal to 17 multiplied by 1. So from this expression now, I can equate these two expressions. And if I equate them, my x plus y can be equal to 17, and then my x minus y will be equal to 1. I assume this to be equation 1, then I'll assume this to be equation 2. I'm going to solve these two equations simultaneously. To solve these two equations simultaneously, I'm going to use the elimination method. If I eliminate this by uh, uh, adding the two sides. If I add the two sides, I'm going to have this to become 2x, right? Why this cancel out this? 
I'm going to have this to be equal to 18, right? So if I divide here by 2, I also divide here by 2. Y2 cancel out 2. 2 cancel here 1. And 2 will cancel out here to give me what? 9. So from that expression, the value of our X will be equal to 9. So the value of X is equal to 9. Now, if you are familiar with a uh, simultaneous equation, we can easily find the value of y using any of these two uh, equations. Now, let's look at the one we are going to use. We are going to use equation. We're going to use equation one. From equation one, we have the value of our x plus y to be equal to 17. Now, if I take my x to be 9, I'll have my 9 plus y to be equal to 17. So, what do I have there? What do I have here? Our y will be equal to 17 minus 9. And then my y will be equal to 8, right? Good. So, that expression, the value of y is equal to now, from this expression, recall that we made two assumptions. And what are the two assumptions? That the value of our t squared is equal to x and the value of our t to the power of 2 to the power of t is equal to y. So recall that we said our t square is equal to x and we said 2 to the power of t is equal to y. So if we substitute this expression, we're going to have our t square to be equal to 9, and then we'll have our 2 to the power of t to be equal to 8. If we simplify this, we can have the value of our t. Now from this expression, t square is going to give me what? Taking the square root of both sides, we'll have this to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 9. While this cancel out this, our t will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 9 is 3. So this is a solution for t. Now on this other hand, we can say our 2 to the power of t is equal to 8 can be equal to 2 to the power of 3, right? We have same base, then we equate the power, then our t will be equal to 3. So from this expression, the value of our t can be equal to, the value of our t will now be equal to, our t will be equal to plus what? Plus 3, and then negative what? Negative 3. This is the solution to the value of t. Now, I want you to check this solution. And how do you check this solution? Substitute the value of t equal to positive 3 and negative 3 into the main equation. t to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of t. And see if your solution will be able to give you 17. If it does, using negative 3 and using positive 3 just give us your comment uh, in the comment section i will be so glad to engage with you i know you did enjoy watching this math solution don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with friends and colleagues and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified math content thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now